Yeah, this is our Marco Polo. It's called in the US the Weekender. And we have been traveling with it now in Canada and USA for five months. And since we have shipped it over from Germany to Canada to Halifax, we are now we are considering to sell it. And I want to explain some of the nice features of this car. What you can see here is that the roof has been pushed up and there is a bed uh, up where a person or two person can sleep. And in the back, you can fold the seats back and then push them forwards and you have a second bed. So it could sleep four people, but we always sleep only for the two of us in here. And the other features I will explain inside. The Marco Polo offers different possibilities for storage. For example, you have here two shelves that are really nicely accessible when the seats are in the back. You have a one drawer where we always have our necessary equipment like forks and knives that you need very often. You have one big drawer underneath which you can open when the bed is long or when the seats are uh, where they are now and uh, on the back of the seats we have different little bags then you have a fridge which is powered by the solar energy and it has an extra battery from the Marco Polo you have two possibilities for cooking with gas I will explain that later with the gas bottle And you have fresh water from the 40 liters, so that's about 10 gallon water tank. So when you want to have breakfast in the bus, you just turn the seat, put the table out, which is installed, and you can have a very nice breakfast with lots of space and have a very, very beautiful look out of the window or the open door within a beautiful landscape. In the back of the car you have two other compartments with the mirror and underneath where you can store a lot of stuff as well. In the back you have a second table which you can use for outside and we have an extra compartment here where we keep our emergency water so that we can fill up our tank when it is empty and we don't have other water accessible. In the back you have a connection for the shower, so you have even an outside shower for, for example washing your hair or your body after swimming. And that is over here. Then it's very easy to push the roof up or to take it down. You only have to push this button and then this connection goes down. So you can stand in the camper van very easily. This is what it looks from outside. We had a um, solar uh, panels installed extra to have really autark energy system. As I said we have two batteries. One is a normal battery for the car and the second one is the solar battery. And you have a refillable propane gas bottle in the back. When you are upstairs with the bed, you even can lay down there and have this board, which I can show you here. We also sell the car with this Tula uh, expandable for having the bikes, for example, and two subs. And the option that we have right now for our trip is that we have a little uh, big bag where you can put in three suitcases. The nice thing about this is that you can open the car also with this in the back so the door opens very easily and you have access to the two compartments in the back. We always take our subs with us which we can also pack bit behind either the bikes or the bag that I just showed you for the suitcases. 
The nice thing about these two compartments in the back is that they are really easily accessible. So you can draw out the lower shelf and you have enough possibilities to store a lot of stuff there. And the second one folds up and you have a second layer where you can put a lot of stuff too. About the mileage, uh, it has a very, very good uh, performance. If you look here, I'm going 90 miles per hour now. And um, here you can see the miles it has been going already. And these are the miles that it will be going with a full tank. 640 miles to go. And here you can see the last 312 miles we had an average of 44 miles per gallon and we were driving 72 miles per hour in average for the last 4 hours and 17 minutes. There are three different modi you can change. So if you want to save on fuel, you can do economy, then you push it down here. And you can see it on the display on the top right, you can see an E for economy. And as you can see, for the last 12 miles, I've been driving consistently with the economy um, system and I uh, was driving only 75 miles per hour and so I have a, a much better mileage, only about 60, 61 uh, miles per gallon which is pretty good and so if you want to save on fuel that's a good way to do that right and if you want to go very fast then you can change it here this is the middle so C would be now on the display you can see it on the right oh, uh, on the top right uh, next to the R and and when I push the S button, so if I push it one more up, then you can see it's going to sportive mode and you can really increase your speed very, very rapidly with the 190 horsepower. It is really excellent. If you want to pass somebody, obviously on a normal street or on the highway, that can be very helpful because you can really make a good speed in a very short time. Yeah, the, the nice thing about the Mercedes is that it has this distronic, which means that it's keeping the distance to the vehicle before you and you can decide um, how fast you want to go and for example if there is a car in front of you, you activate the uh, distronic and then you can dis can do the different speeds down here on this left. Uh, can you come here a bit with the camera? Um, and I can see it when I look here at this display, and the assistance graphic. Now you can see there is no car in front of me, but now there will be a car coming soon, and I can see it on this display too, and the car will automatically reduce the speed and it will keep the distance to the other car. Stays behind it, it brakes, it brakes. If, if the car in front of me brakes, 
and if I go, uh, if the car in front of me goes faster, I will go faster with it. Pretty good. As I've already told you, we have a water tank for about 10 gallons and you can fill this with this adapter uh, on any um, outlet, water outlet that's possible with drinking water and it's very easily filled from outside. You just open the compartment and let the water out that the hose gets clean and then you just fill your water tank. Because of the height that you have when you open the roof, you can even have video in the bus, which we do with our little transportable beamer. And uh, you can have Netflix and other films just sent directly from that to the screen. All right, so if you're interested, just give us a call. See you soon.